This is the first step along your path to a gateway. A gateway beyond which is discovered. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The things he did were so incredible and so unbelievable that people want to talk about them. People want to keep that stuff alive. Anything that you hear about Bo Jackson, I would probably tell you 99% of it is true. The Cardinal uniform. Jackson wears baseball and football, and he did football. Was on I did the spectacle. But I also played for real in the much earlier time. Well, you would hear about it the next day. Yeah, that bull down there, that's a pretty interesting hobby he has for his vacation. When baseball ends, he winds up uh, playing, uh, playing football. I, I just, I don't know if there's ever been... Hey, he's remarkable, and look at that one. Paul Jackson. It is a rare game. The men who play it make it so. Bo Jackson born Vincent Edward Jackson on November 30th, 1962. He was the eighth of ten kids. Lawrence Jackson born his mother, Grace Oliver. She went to Jackson to do so. Growing up, Bo got the nickname Wild Bull Hall from his family. He excelled in all sports. Football, baseball, and track and field were his main sports he played. He won several track and field state championships and was recruited in all sports. He was the man. I used to play for the Kansas City Royals. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Play with Kansas City, the Chicago White Sox, and the California Angels. He wanted to stay in his home state, so it was Alabama or Auburn. Alabama only offered him his chance of playing time in a couple of years. And as a linebacker, so he took his show to Auburn. But he'll bear Bryant when he did that one. <laughs> yeah, you ever heard of the Heisman Trophy? That's the best college football player in the country. I won that. So he played. Kid doesn't even know he's talking football to the greatest the athlete since level, Jim yeah. Thorpe. So the, what are the, the Raiders are I guess it lost nine in a row they were in a That program was floundering. And, and it began to look like Auburn might never beat Alabama again. Bo Jackson, the big freshman from Bessemer, powerhouse of a man. Bo Jackson at this point is still pretty much an unknown. He's also motivated by what he was motivated by his entire career, which is being dissed. Alabama recruited him, but Alabama didn't want him so much that they didn't tell him. Apparently, the legend says, an assistant coach told him, well, you might start here by the time you're a junior. He was very hurt by the fact that Bear Bryant basically told him, you're going to have to wait a couple of years before you play. Well, Bo wasn't going to wait until he was a junior to make an impact in college football. Iron Bull, Bo's freshman year, he puts on a show late, a game that let the rest of the world know who he was. Bo Jackson, looking out of the tailback spot, he breaks it big. Inside the Alabama 15, out of bounds at the tied 13. Tommy Wilcox and Jeremiah Castillo had a little bit of an angle on him. Otherwise, they would have never caught him. 52 yards. When you start talking about who are the greatest all-time, all-around athletes you've ever seen, Bo Jackson's got to be right there. And well, the big guy goes over the, over the top. There are certain things that Jackson does that uh, looks a lot like Herschel Walker. That being, well, the Alabama side is holding its breath. The Auburn side is roaring lustily here at Legion Field on third down and goal. Campbell puts it up. He's got it to Bo Jackson. Jackson is down just short of the goal line. He's a foot away. That was a sensational catch. Bo over the top, baby. I'm working on this play where I go over the top. Call Bo over the top. That's a, that's all. Bo, the ball. Go over the top. First things first. Let's let the 230 man jump over the pile. 
Jackson. Touchdown. That's what legends are made of. tearjerker because it meant so much to him and his and his family and his mother and he ended up winning the game i mean he made the play in the fourth quarter we were behind campbell it's just high in the air bo jackson gets out there and turns in a big play all the way down to a pass Bo put a whooping on Alabama and the rest of the country for the next few years. He eventually won his Heisman Trophy his senior year. He was the best in the country. Here up to number 21. We've got to see that again. Just a sensational play by one man's effort. Nothing there. Alabama defense plays it perfectly. But here's Wood. The alertness of Wood knowing what speed that Jackson has to take the proper angle and to knock well, off. Bo was busy. Bo was down. busy around. Oh, he was a three-sporter athlete in college. I, I heard Baseball, a lot about football, football track and field. And I didn't think there was any way his actions could surpass the reputation. But they did. He really is the only player I've ever seen who improved from one day to the next. But you know, the home run at Georgia, which is a lot of people's favorite story, it was their first night, uh, Vince Dooley's there to throw out the first ball, and of course he was well acclimated with Bo's skills on the football field. And, and Bo, once again, stole the show. He had three home runs, a double, the longest home run in Georgia history, almost uh, discombobulated their new $300,000 lighting system with one of his home runs. And, and uh, you know, it was just typical. It was so funny that by the end of the game, the Georgia fans were cheering for the and natural came out. Robert Redford, check it out. It was a reenactment of the legendary moment in Bo's life. Those PG Rednecks never expected this to happen. Never. But he also ran track here at Auburn. And he uh, excelled at track. Bo was a natural because he had the physical traits, but the biggest thing Bo had going for him is Bo wanted to compete, is Bo wanted to win. And even more so, don't ever tell Bo he can't do something. I mean, I think if somebody would have 
put Bo into a track uniform all year round. And Bo, in, in my eyes, is just like the Carl Lewis's and the Calvin Smith of the, of the track world. He's world class. And, you know, people want to know if you can y'all run Bo Jackson. And the answer to that is yes, I beat him all three times. But I tell you, uh, the kind of competitor that Bo Jackson is is very, very fierce. You know, I'm world class. I've been ranked in the world for 10 of the last 12 years. And, and I tell you, he, he ran me down to the wire every, each and every time. And I guess that's what makes Bo Jackson the kind of athlete he is today. Bo has the fastest 40 time in the NFL history. Four, 13. Thank the right of Buford Campbell. Pitch it to the warm up the stretch. He broke the tackle. He's just going to find the track. Jackson looks in a rush. He had to open up the garage doors in the training area. So he could just keep running on his way out. Couldn't stop himself. He was going so fast. He was clocked in at 413. He had a boy, uh, a bore out of hell, you know what I'm saying there, boy? Like, I'm going to come running out of here like that Lamborghini I told you I'm going to buy when I get that big contract. You know? Hey, you're looking strong. Keep on working out there, Bobby. You get it. Bo knows. You know that, Bobby. Bo knows. Now watch these doors. Big Bo's coming through. I'm not, not, uh, n n no problem there, Bo. Bo, I got you. Thanks. Uh, go ahead there, Bobby. Just leave it right there, boy. I'm coming by fast now. Look out. Big Bo. <laughs> the downtown athletic club that I represent to present the 51st Heisman Memorial Trophy to Bo Jackson of Auburn. You know, Auburn is playing in the Sugar Bowl and then during the pregame warm-ups, he takes a football and he throws up and he hits the scoreboard, which previously only punters had done. He went and picked the ball up and threw it up there. One of the writers said, oh, what are you going to do now? He said, I'm going to go down and take some batting practice. I stood down by the dugout, I'll never forget it. Duke Watkins was pitching, and the first ball he hit, I'll never forget. Anyone familiar with this baby? I've never seen it done before. He hit not only over the center field wall, he hit the crowd, the scoreboard crowd, with the first ball he hit. And the great legend, Buck O'Neill, was with us, and he was sat there. He said, in all my years, he said, I only heard that sound off that bat three times. One was Babu. One was Josh Gibson, and the other one is today. While being recruited from the pros, the Tampa Bay Light and Bo, and we brought him over in a private jet. Well, it wasn't approved to the NCAA, so Bo lost the remainder of his senior year baseball season. He didn't like that at all. And once I make my mind up about what I'm going to do, it's going to be because it's what they want and not what some of us want. He has to make a decision, and when he decides, then we'll say God bless. They're hoping it'll be football. I think it will be. I see all of you know, and now all of you are sitting here saying, this guy is done this time. I'm going to always do the opposite. <laughs> it's a good time for our football team, good time for our fans as we uh, start the area that uh, we're lucky to uh, play football with all those in football. Go to basketball. Go to tennis. Come back to the shot bail. He comes home. 
<laughs> Dempsey goes home. Broke his thumb on that particular play on the collision. Rick Dempsey was out. He did not come back. You can see him punching in the crowd. He's called in. He winds up playing football. I just, I don't know if there's ever going to at that defense if he gets a base hit Steve Lyons guarding the line if he gets a base hit just to Lyons left he get a stand up double Pasquish kind of shading him to left center a little oh, bit yeah. Jackson hits that one to left field Danny Pasco going back looking up goodbye it's over Ball three Kansas City Paul Jackson's 21st home run Hit well to center field. Deion Sanders going back to the wall, and it is gone. Bo Jackson homers to put the Royals ahead 2-0. There isn't any place that Bo would rather hit one than over Deion Sanders' head. Bo with a two-run homer, his first time up here tonight, and hits this ball deep to right center field, way back. Forget it. Jackson with his second home run in two tries tonight. That's 18 on the year. He's driven in four runs in the ball game, and the Royals lead five to one. I've never seen a right-handed hitter go that deep in the seats. Some hang time as well. Some more hang time. Deep to right. The hat trick. He'll be up again. When this guy gets it going in his career, five times this, the this throw season he's been made. thrown out at second base. Line drive. The throw the by the man he gets, Harold Reynolds. Hall of Famer. Reynolds from scoring. He can't do it. Yes, he can. I don't believe it. He made an absolutely perfect throw. It looked like there was no way he was going to get it. He Bob just Didier still doesn't think he, he had a, the throw there. I can't believe it. He didn't even try to hit a cutoff man. He must have thrown this ball over his cutoff man's head by 20 feet. He just turned and launched. Look, they're all arguing. What the hell just the happened? That's are impossible. Way out of position. What's Ken going Kaiser on? What are you guys doing? He, he goes down to the left scene. field corner. They're or supposed not. to the rotate. The home plate umpire then goes to third to make sure they tag up there. The first base umpire never came to home plate. Media Saturday, he'd like to play pro football as a hobby. Elliot drafted Bo in seventh round and took a gamble. And it worked RBIs. out. Says his oh, wow. top priority is the Royals. Highly sensational. I never met an athlete who could market himself better. I'm an extremist. People clash. either hate me or love me. He it was a modern day OK Corral. Bigger than life. But Action. unfortunately, Bo ran for 221 yards. Took a touchdown. He destroyed Boz. Um, after this, Boz was the same. Broke his ego. His career went downhill. Well, wide open is Jackson for the touchdown. Third and one from the two. Here's Bo. Like, I'm like, I'm fast. 
he's faster. Then there's Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson was as good an athlete as the country has seen probably since Jim Thorpe. To me, he's the greatest athlete of the 20th century. By there's not even an argument there. Every two or three days, he would do something to make you just kind of scratch your head and say, man, I don't know if I saw that right, you know. Bo Jackson was the first superhero of my generation. Something mythical about everything that he did. There goes Bo, and nobody catches Bo. He may not stop yet to call Bo. He was like a, you know, a rocket ship that was fired out of a cannon. He was excitement incarnate. Oh, here it comes. The famous Spider-Man wall walk, baby. Woo-hoo-wee! Big Bo. Get up that wall. Bo knows exactly what he's doing. Spider-Man. Ho-ho-ho! They show it on the big screen. Listen to the crowd. He snaps this thing like a twig, literally. Oh, he's gonna have to go to the penthouse suite on this one. Oh, hoo! Man, he went, baby, he went. Is it a boat of VIP? Take him to the suite. Buck O'Neill coming up next. He's the one they were talking about earlier in that, that story where they said he I had never heard before in my life that was Ruth hitting the ball. And the next time I heard that sound, I'm in Washington, D.C., I rushed out and there was Josh Gibson hitting the ball. And I heard this sound again. Now, Almost I like didn't hear it thing. anymore. I'm in Kansas City, and I heard this sound one more time that I hadn't heard only twice in my life. Now, you know who this is? Bo Jackson swinging at that. And now, I heard this sound. I said, here it is again. I heard it again. I've only heard it three times in my life. But now, I'm living because I'm going to hear it again one day if I live long enough. That's some great company being. Bo's character in Tech Mobile is unstoppable. He's going up and down like he's doing the old zigzag like that. Touchdown every time. From the time he was a little kid, he was, he was almost like a Paul Bunyan type of figure. And the stories about Mo Jackson were always very vivid because not only were they amazing, they were often very weird. And all of a sudden he just jumps out of the water and up the back. My girlfriend said, did you see that? I said, yeah, I saw him. I saw him, myself, jump over a motor. I saw him. There's nothing overrated about Bo Jackson. Zero. Nice shoot. No! Can't hit anyone? You sure we haven't met him? Now, where's that Tour de France thing? Nice shoot. Have you ever been to L.A.? Kansas City. Nice shoes. Couldn't make a function. And fortunately, in a sense, they didn't have to have him and playing great happened. football. It looked like a, a simple, simple tackle. Oh, Jackson has I think tomorrow. he just bounced up. Maybe, maybe pulled the muscle or something. Nine Nothing big. But no, that one they tackle was a tackle that changed the world. Changed my life. Never could have imagined the damage that was done. This is just what the Bengals wanted to avoid and just what the Raiders were expecting sooner or later to happen. Some beautiful blocking at the line of scrimmage and Bo is so strong physically. Those legs are so strong. Talking to Fulcher before the game, he said you can't tackle him in his legs. Look at Steve Smith 
kick his man out. A great job by Montoya. A beautiful job of pulling and blocking. And watch these broken tackles. So his legs and, of course, the blocking itself. And Walker, as he made the tackle, had only the one leg to grab. And apparently, Bo Jackson, shaken up a bit, has not uh, gotten to his feet as yet. That was a 34-yard run by Jackson, who does not appear to be seriously injured and gets a big hand from this crowd. What a player. He may have pulled a muscle as he was trying to pull away from a tackle because he really wasn't hit on the knee. Now watch Kevin Walker in the final analysis. He's been making all kinds of plays. He's pulling on that leg, and it could be that he just pulled a muscle that Bo did. He moves out and he's in a whole replacement. And it is Bo a football Jackson career. Back to baseball. He made a comeback After in baseball. After some rigorous rehabilitation so. on his hip, Bo did what a lot of people said same. he never would do. And though he was rusty for the first couple of weeks, on September 17th, he finally cut loose. Things. Very loose. If he was going to finish college, he if he was going to become a promiser, his first oh, home run. God, oh, and he finished college as soon as he retired. Yeah. He passed away before he made his comeback. The ball traveled more than 400 feet, but the distance might have said a lot more about how far Bo had come. It's into right field, that's a can of corn. Bo Jackson is there. As here's the throw, Gallego tagging, and Bo gets it! What a throw by Bo Jackson! Standing flat-footed! And off we started off and went back to Cali. Growing up, Bo Jackson was a superhero, a real, true article superhero. Thanks for everything, Bo. favorite meals is wild pork chops. So who am I to say no to Bo? I guess it's time to do a little grocery shopping before Bo and I hit the hardwoods. Then I 
out of nowhere. 